syncing up. All right, here we go. Hey everyone, it is the Wayward Llama back again with a movie review. Um, yeah, I mean, don't hold your breath on any other videos. I feel like I've repeated myself far too much on this one, at least over my Twitter and Facebook. That really regular videos are just not a not a possibility for me right now uh, with everything going on, work, school, and all that. Anyway, so here I am with a review of Gravity while I am uh, using footage of me playing Call of Duty Nazi Zombies. Yes, I will secede that most of Call of Duty's features are pretty crappy, especially multiplayer. Most of the campaigns I actually find are quite enjoyable, and while Zombies has its issues as well, I actually do kind of enjoy Zombies. Call it a guilty pleasure. Since it's Halloween, I figured it'd make some good video for the game itself. Because, I don't know, me playing Minecraft last time wasn't that great. Speaking of last time, <laughs> I actually did, like, I, I did think about what I was going to say this time beforehand. I know me stuttering doesn't help my case, but hopefully I can prove that, well, I can make a video that's under half an hour and still get my points across. So, Gravity, uh, if you're unfamiliar with the concept, is Sandra Bullock and George Clooney basically, uh, Stranded in space after an accident on their uh, after an accident occurs. Um, they're two astronauts, NASA astronauts. They're uh, I, I'm trying to give the drive by here. Um, they're two they're, they're two NASA astronauts, and they are yep. Yeah, they're stranded in space after an accident. A lot of uh, a lot of talk about you know what are they gonna do? Where are they gonna go? How are they gonna get out of this? For those with phobias about like that kind of thing, like just being lost in the abyss, eh, I could see this being utterly terrifying for you. Me, not so much. Uh, the film itself, uh, really good. I'm just gonna gloss over everything here that'll get into spoilers. Um, really, uh, really, I don't know if really good, I guess is the right word here. Um, it's a good film, it's a solid film. Uh, worth seeing in 3D, worth seeing in theaters, 8 out of 10, well directed. Decently acted, I didn't think Sandra Bullock was the right call, and from what I'm reading, she wasn't even really the first cho- well, she wasn't even really the first choice in the film. Um, uh, apparently I wrote for Angelina Jolie, though I don't think that would have been any better. Um, I do think there are people who could pull it off much better, though. Um, George Clooney, George Clooney's awesome. I mean, I think he's been bad in certain things. I can't remember the last time I've seen something bad, but he does the well. Uh, he do, he plays the role of the calm, collected guy really well. It's well directed. Uh, there's not a lot of cuts, like probably because most of it is motion capture CGI. Really good motion capture CGI, but like when they're out in the suits and all that, it's just CGI. Um, at least to my, I think it is. I, I, I might be wrong, but it looks like CGI to me. There's not a lot of cuts, though. I mean, scene changes happen, but not often. It's usually just one continuous scene, but it works. There's a lot of POV shots. Uh, I think it really helps build the atmosphere of what they're going through. Um, well scored. There were some pretty... Like, the music really gets you into it. And that's a big thing for me. Music in the movie. Like, sometimes silence is better, and they use silence when it's good. Um... Other than that, yeah, well acted, well directed, well written. Um, nothing's re there's nothing across the board that I would say is Oscar worthy, but it's also still really good. Like, well, keep using the word really good. I don't like that. Um, it's good. It is a solid film. I would give it an eight out of ten. Worth seeing in theaters. Worth uh, seeing in 3D. The 3D is actually rather well done. I think it was actually shot in 3D, though do not quote me on that, I might be wrong. Um, I don't think you would really quote me anyway, I'm not that much, uh, this is not that big of a channel. Um, otherwise, uh, yeah, I guess, yes, uh, see it if you want to, if you don't, well, it's your choice. Uh, now I'm going to kind of get into the spoilers here. Yeah, so, really, um... I'm gonna get into a bit more of an in-depth, like, my problems with the film, uh, just because the- most of what I had was spoiler-related. Um, oh, Science was surprisingly good for a Hollywood film. There was something I thought was kind of iffy, 
but uh, primarily the bodies. Uh, the body, the bodies of the main, uh, the rest of their shuttle crew. I know you freeze to death first, but I think you don't. You also bloat when you get uh, when you're exposed to the vacuum. I might be wrong. Uh, they weren't bloated. They were mostly just frozen. But that's a minor thing at best. There's also another scene where uh, Sandra Bullock's exposed to the vacuum. I, I I don't know if that would have actually killed her because it wasn't that long exposed to the vacuum. I might be wrong. Um, but they also that scene also kind of gets explained because well, all right, spoiler, big spoiler. George Clooney dies. Uh, you don't actually well, you're yeah. You don't see him die on screen, he just kind of floats off. Uh, they get separated when they reach the uh, ISS, the International Space Station, and uh, he just kind of lets himself go because it's him or... It's either both of them or just him, and he's lived a decent life. Um, it was a pretty good way for the character to go. Now, yeah, the section where Sandra Bullock's just trying to pull it off on her own isn't that great. She's a good actress, she just... This wasn't the role meant for her. Um... She pulls it off well enough, though. Uh, Clooney comes back momentarily, and basically, uh, the scene I'm talking about, he opens up a uh, he opens up the shuttle that she's in, uh, the escape pod that she's in, and uh, comes down, takes a rest, and uh, coaches her on uh, the way to get to the Chinese uh, satellite, which she is going to use to get home. Um, well, she's gonna try to use to get home. Now. Uh, he actually, uh, like, yeah, but anyway, so, yeah, I wasn't sure if she would, uh, survive being a, being sent to the vacuum, uh, like, being exposed to the vacuum like that or not, but it's turned, it turns out to be a hallucination, because at one point she basically gives up and, uh, tries to kill herself. Well, she just, she wants to end it quickly, because she thinks she's just going to die out there anyway. However, uh, the vision restores her, the, the vision restores her, because... He coaches her that even though she lost a daughter, the character lost a daughter, and she didn't have anything left to live for, that he, she actually did, uh, blah blah blah, that kind of, all that good feel good stuff. It gets pretty triumphant, and the action scene uh, is pretty good when she's trying to get onto the uh, when she's trying to uh, escape and all that. She thinks on her feet really well. I wouldn't call her a feminist protagonist. I don't know. Just because, uh, for a good chunk of it, she's dressed rather skimpily, and I don't know, that, that always felt really silly to me. Um, you know, it didn't seem like it was NASA regulation clothes she was in, there was, like, really short shorts, um, and it was still a guy that was saving her, though, at the same time, I wouldn't say that's necessarily because he's a man. Uh, I don't know, uh... He was more just the veteran officer on the mission. I actually like Clooney's character. He provided a lot of the comic relief with, like, some silly stories and jokes, but he was clearly taking the matter very seriously. He was just trying to keep Sandra Bullock calm because she was hyperventilating for a good most of the movie. Um, and yeah, she almost dies for lack of oxygen because of it like, a couple times. Um... Other than that, uh, a lot of, like, NASA is God analogy here and there. Um, sometimes NASA doesn't answer, but you still gotta talk. Uh, yeah. I, um, I'm trying to think what else there is. Otherwise, it was a decent experience. I, I, I wouldn't say it's the greatest film I've ever seen. I wouldn't say it's even the greatest film I've seen this year. Granted, I haven't been watching a lot of movies, but I am trying to watch more now that I have a job and money to be able to go see movies regularly. I'm actually trying to organize a group to see uh, Thor 2, and I might be able to get someone else to do these reviews with me. All right, I'm approaching 10 minutes, so let me see if I can't make this under 11. Um, other than that, it's a, uh, it's a decent film. Yeah, like I keep saying, it's a decent film. Uh, I think it's worth seeing in theaters, uh, but, you know, you might just want to rent it. Other than that, yeah, I mean, Sandra Bullock makes it home fine. Um, it's It wasn't that, that suspenseful for me, but I uh, I can usually guess which way his writing is going. There was, a, uh, there was a guy in the beginning where they never show his face, but they have him talk and you just know... He is the red shirt of the group. Um, basically, everyone whose face you see, if you don't see their face, they don't get much screen time. 
Uh, you do see his face momentarily, but it's only after a shard of Russian space station went through. That was the accident, by the way. Yeah, Russian blew up. Russians blew up a satellite with a missile. I guess uh, they actually discussed that. It must, it must have been like a spy satellite or something because they didn't want it to be like discovered or anything. It went. It just stopped working, so they blew it up with a missile. However, the chain. They, it kind of caused a chain reaction of the debris because they kept the, uh, the debris from that destroyed another, uh, another uh, like satellite. Then that destroyed another satellite. It basically wiped out a good chunk of the world's satellites. So. I would almost want to see a movie just about the side effects of that on the ground, because that sounds damn near apocalyptic for some people. I mean, okay, that's not that bad. It's not like, uh, I don't know if any of you ever played uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, where they blow up a nuke and EMP half the, uh, they blow up, I think it's like they blow up a nuke over Washington and they e EMP like half of America. I don't actually know if that would work like that. I don't claim to be a expert on stuff like that. Um, MW2's campaign was pretty awesome, though. MW3's was. You know. um, I'm getting off topic here. I'm talking about MW3. Yeah, uh, see it while you can in theaters. If not, it's a good rental, a solid rental. I would watch it without uh, any lights on just to build atmosphere. Um. Yeah, good POV shots, well-directed, decently acted, well-written. Yeah, that's really all I have to say. Um, other films worth uh, getting on DVD, by the way, though, Pacific Rim. I wanted to do a review of that, but that did not go that uh, as I had planned. Um, it, I had just seen it way too late into its runtime, and I just decided, you know what, I, I can't do a review of this, but it was one of the best films... Uh, I'd say it's the best action film I've ever seen. Now, to be fair, I don't watch a lot of action films. It's not really my genre. But I really liked it. I recommend seeing it if you like uh, giant robots hitting stuff. Um, other than that, you know, have a nice day. Uh, I do have an idea for something for a video, but at this point in time, I really wouldn't be expecting much from me. If you see something from me, that's great. That means I managed to get something done. But... Not, it's not worth, yeah, um, it's not worth holding your breath over. I might do just a bunch of, like, let's play-like things, but I'll try to be funny about them. Basically, I'm kind of, I'm just kind of stuck in doing what, uh, I'm kind of stuck with a one-man operation right here. Uh, hopefully someday, I, my long-term goal for this channel is to eventually find a partner. I can find someone else to work with. There's someone else to do another voice. Because I don't want to do more than two voices a video, because... I do not have that much voice acting talent. Um, as I'm learning piano and I get better at it, I might start posting, you know, me doing covers of stuff, p uh, piano and singing. Uh, it's something I'm doing in my spare time, learning piano. Um, other than that, have a great Halloween. Um, I might post something actually for Halloween. I've had a couple ideas, but you know, you never really know. Uh, well. You don't know with me, because I'm unreliable and terrible. But, you know, have a nice day, uh, have a nice night, wherever you are. And the Wayward Llama is out.